Introduction to Alteryx. Introducing the Alteryx Designer User Interface. Right, so you know the why and you've successfully got Alteryx Designer installed on your machine. So now it's time to introduce you to the key components of the Alteryx User Interface. Upon opening Alteryx, you'll receive a Getting Started prompt, which gives you a nice quick step through of Alteryx Designer. It's worth taking a minute or two to go through this resource to get a high level view of how the tools work. The Getting Started menu also gives you access to tutorials and also your recent workflows. But to begin with, I'm going to select a new workflow. The central panel is known as our canvas. It's where we build our workflow. And to the left, we also have our configuration pane. In the configuration pane, this is where we can disclose parameters for our workflow and also the processes that we're applying to our data stream. You'll get used to the configuration pane as we move through our introduction journey. At the bottom, we have our results window, and this allows us to see our data before and after each process. It also provides us with useful messages that allow us to understand the processes that have occurred. The messages will also pass through warnings or errors that may have occurred when running the workflow. Across the top, we have our tools. Within Alteryx Designer, there are over 200 tools available to help transform your data. This may seem overbearing, but they're helpfully categorized and tagged in order to allow us to get the right tool for the job as quickly as possible. For example, by navigating to the join tool group, we will see each of the different ways that we can join our data together. Tools are also color coded by the group with which they represent. In the top right, we have our global search feature. And this is something I use all the time. The global search not only allows us to search the toolkit for those key tags. For instance, if I search the term VLOOKUP, it will return me the join tool but it also searches the help guide and the Alteryx community for those keywords too, allowing you to quickly understand how others may have approached the problem you're trying to solve. You may have also noticed beside the join tool in the global search, there is an example button. If I click this, Alteryx opens a workflow with a series of examples showing the different types of transformations that can be achieved with this tool. You can also navigate to these examples through the toolbar. By selecting a tool, you will receive a pop-up which outlines the definition, but also gives a link to that same example that we've just seen. We're not quite finished yet. So there's two more things that I want to point you towards. Firstly, the help tab. The help tab links out again to some very useful resources, but none perhaps more important than the sample workflows which contain more detailed examples of how creating a workflow containing a number of connected tools allows us to solve a complex problem relatively simply. And finally, the all important run button. We use the run button to run our workflow. It begins processing our data through the workflow and the process that you've built. If you drag on a new tool to the canvas, then it is important to know that if you want to understand how this affects your data stream, you will need to hit the run button again. I'll end this video with a quick tip, the shortcut control R, and this allows you to run your workflow without having to waste valuable clicks.